Welcome everybody. This is Gina. You're in the Firefly Studio 67. I want to say um, hello and welcome to all my new subscribers and hello to all of you who've been with me for a while. I don't get on here as much as I uh, hope to, but uh, you know, life just just has a way of getting getting in the way sometimes. So what are we doing today? Why am I here? I had some happy mail a while back and I had intended to do this video long before now and I just have to say, Tracy, I am so sorry that it's taken me so long, sweetie. Um, Tracy from uh, Tracy's Seaside Studio, who's on Etsy, let me put that up so you can see close was kind enough to send me a sample of some of the things that she has in her shop. I flipped through this previously, but you may not have seen it. I know a lot of people don't necessarily click on to the Happy Mails, so you may have missed this. But this is just a sample of what Tracy's got, and I tell you, they are beautiful. Uh, she has got some gorgeous images. So I told Tracy I would do a project, and I am so sorry, Tracy, that it's taken me this long. But we're going to jump in today, and what I've decided to do was she sent me these beautiful images that she has printed out on acetate for me. So we're going to make some little herb slides, and she's even got the instructions for it. You've got these beautiful little labels. So I just thought we'd do um, a little create with me quickly because this looks like it'll be a fairly quick um, tutorial. So the first thing I want to do is just get one of these cut out. I absolutely love this idea. So I've got that cut, and I'm just going to fold this over. Where is my bone folder? Yep, you guessed it. I've lost the bone folder again. Honestly, I don't think I can do a video without um, without um, <sighs> with uh, everything on hand. <laughs> I'll get it out eventually. Let's make sure that's straight and then I'm going to... I've not made one of these um, yet guys, so we're going to be doing this together. Sorry, my big shot makes a little bit of noise. Okay, so the framelits that I've got aren't exact, but I'm going to opt to use the smaller one. I don't think it's going to going to show too too much if I position that. There will be a little bit of that frame, but I think it's going to be fine. Now you can obviously chances are your own framelits will probably work. These were an unbranded, but if not, you could um, just use your craft knife. Let me see how that's cut. 
my hope for that, Tom. Um, because I'm not very good with crap. See, I, I, I'm fine with that. You can see a little bit of it, but I'm happy with, with that. And then I just want to round those corners quickly. i tell you what else I'll do. Just to make sure that I've got this straight, I'm going to run the acetate through with the larger. So I'm just going to cut this in, the, in half quickly. Those are just beautiful images. And then I'm just going to take this and cut this out. That way it'll be straight. Okay, mine did not cut that. Probably if I had run that through twice, but I'm just going to take my scissors. I assume if I had run it through there a couple of times, it would have went on through. I'm just going to ink around the, the edges of that before I put the acetate in. Beautiful. Okay, let's get our glue. and You can see this is just such a quick project, so I'm going to actually just go ahead and do... several of these tonight that she sent me and then I'll have those all ready. I'm slowly getting some um, ephemera kind of made up. I don't generally, oh boy I've done it now, um, I don't normally do my ephemera in advance but because of tutorials uh, here and my patron channel, I still end up with some made ahead of time. So little by little, I'm getting some ready for um, nature. Oh boy, this doesn't want to cooperate. I'm sorry, guys. Gosh. All right, I'll have to sort that one out in a second. Um, so having said that, I guess I better get on and do a nature journey soon. I'm just going to put a different tip on for now. And then these, if you've got these and they get plugged, well you probably already know this, but I'll just put that in warm um, bowl of water and that will sort it out. There we go. So yes, I must get on and do, start thinking about maybe another nature journal, but I don't know. 
I haven't, I've started working on a cover, but it's not going to be nature, so let me make sure I've got the writing right. Okay, so I'm just going to place that. Oh, these are so, so cute. Look at that. They are beautiful. Tracy, those images are gorgeous. Let's just get a little label on it. I do love that. I'm just going to put that right there. And then I think what I might do when I get a couple of these together, I think I will um, put a little eyelet up in the corner and uh, tie together three of these little slides. I think that would be adorable in the pocket of a journal. Love it. So there it is. So quick um, and easy, but oh my gosh, they are beautiful. So do check out Tracy's Seaside Studio. She's got this kit in there, and like I said, she's got a lot of images. So do check her out, and thank you again, Tracy, for sending these to me. That was so generous of you, and I do apologize that it has taken me so long to get this, um, this tutorial up for you. I will put Tracy's link in the description box below for you guys to go directly to her shop and have a look. So thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I hope you're all safe and well, and I'll be back soon. Bye.